So in my last video, I talked about how to find your answer when you're adding integers. And in this video, I'm going to actually work some problems for you and these are on your assignment. So I'm going to do number one, which is negative three plus seven. I'm going to do number two, which is negative eight plus four. I'm going to do number seven, which is negative 31 plus negative 45. And I'm going to do number 12, which is 15 plus negative 2. There are 15 problems on the assignment, so if you watch this video, you will have seen 4 out of the 15, and that makes only 11 that you have to do. So, lucky you. Okay, so the first one is negative 3 plus 7. Remember that you need to know if you have same signs or different signs. So these We've got a positive and a negative, that's different signs. So we're gonna find the difference. Remember difference means to subtract. So seven minus three is four. And then you have to ask yourself, do you have more positives or more negatives? So seven is bigger than three. So we only have three negatives, we have seven positives. So this is positive four, that is the answer to that one. Remember that we learned how to use our counters. So if you wanna double check your answer or if you weren't sure how to get the answer to begin with, you could always draw out your three negatives, draw out your seven positives, get rid of your zero pairs, and see what you have left. You have four positives left, so that is your answer. Number two is similar in that we, we do have a positive and a negative again. So different signs, you find the difference. Eight minus four is four again, but this time eight's bigger than four and eight is negative here. So you have more negatives than positives. So your answer here is negative four. And remember again, you can draw out your picture if it's helpful to you. So eight negatives, four positives, and if you want, you could just circle all your zero pairs and you have four negatives left over. Okay, number seven looks different for a couple of reasons. One is the numbers have gotten a lot bigger. And also, you're dealing with two negatives this time. So instead of, same, uh, instead of different signs, you have same signs this time. So same sign, you find the sum. So this time, instead of subtracting, we're actually adding. Uh, 31 plus 45 is gonna give us 76. And because they're both negative, we keep the uh, same sign. So it is negative 76. You could draw out your negatives. I could draw out 31 negatives and I could draw out 45 negatives, okay? I'm not gonna draw all, out all of those. The point is they would all be negative so there wouldn't be any zero pairs. And so you would just end up with a bunch of negatives. In this case, 76 of them. Okay, last but not least, we have 15 plus negative two. So we're back to having different signs because we've got a positive and a negative. So different signs, we find the difference. 15 minus two is 13. And then we have to look, we only have two negatives. We have 15 positives. So that means that our answer is positive 13. And again, if it's helpful to you, you could draw out 15 positives. Even though that's kind of a lot, it's not that bad. Two negatives, get rid of those zero pairs, and you've got five, 10, 11, 12, 13 positives left over. Feel free to rewatch this video if you're still confused or ask me for help.